hello you beautiful soul thank you for joining me today today's reading for you is a how does he or she feel about me reading so we're going to look into your person how they feel about you currently what they're perhaps thinking about when it comes to you and them let's get started so how does your feeling think how does your person think or feel about you this is a general reading, so please take what resonates, leave the rest. If this is not your story, this is not your story, and that's okay. Okay. <clears throat> We have the page of cups here and i knew this card was going to come out i knew they had a message of love for you because when i was shuffling the decks before i started recording um i always do the pre-shuffle off camera because it takes too long it's boring it's, it's uneventful but every once in a while cards will fly out or cards will flip over and this card flipped over in another deck the page of cups so i was like hmm okay someone needs to know this there's a message of love coming your way your person have finally gotten to a point where they're acknowledging their feelings for you and they do have feelings for you and they want to come and express those feelings to you tell you how they actually feel about you so we have a message of love here coming in what has changed what has changed is that they're trusting the intuition now here with the high priestess they're trusting the intuition and they're allowing their, their inner voice to guide them. Before, perhaps they were listening to their pride and ego. Perhaps they weren't really stepping into who they were or their feelings. They were too much in a place of of um, feeling this painful ending. You guys might have had a painful ending or there might be a painful ending going on for them right now. This could be with a person, place, a thing. This doesn't have to be romantic. There's just a painful ending that's happening, which is causing them to have to disconnect. Disconnect from technology, disconnect from communication, disconnect from any kind of social media, perhaps. Tens of numbers of endings. But when, when an, one cycle ends, a new cycle begins. This is why they need to have this timeout. They need a timeout. They need to rest. They need to allow this ending to happen, this pain, whatever it is. Yes, it's painful, but they just need to take the lesson, walk away, and then rest. Disconnect and rest. Rest, restore, and really think about um, the things that led them here. Think about perhaps... Where do they go next? They think about and, and wait for their next move. They planted seeds long ago, perhaps. They might have sent out ships and they're waiting for the ships to come in. But this is about while they're waiting, while they're resting, we have the number four here, which is foundations. They are planting new foundations, new beliefs. They're really thinking about the current foundations and beliefs planting new ones and then waiting for them to take root to bloom to grow to bring about some kind of opportunity where the new cycle starts where there's an opportunity for them to bring this message of love to you but they need to be in the queen of pentacles energy when they do and they're also waiting for themselves to bloom to mature to get into this queen of cups energy sorry queen of pentacles energy um where they're grounded where they're abundant because they see you as this. They see you as this grounded, abundant, practical, nurturing uh, queen of pentacles. And once they have stepped into all of this, they can finally take action. They can take action towards their truth. They have truth now, they have clarity, and they want to take action. They want to do it with speed. They want to communicate their feelings of love for you. Bottom of the deck here, we have the Three of Swords. So there could have been a third party situation here, or most definitely for most of you, there's a third party situation here. Uh, and this heartbreak, this grief, this pain, that's the cycle that needs to end. This could be that they're still in a third party and this third party is now breaking up. This third party is what is, is this Ten of Swords here. You could be in a third party and that's breaking up. Um, but there's some kind of uh, energy here where, where this, this third party situation, this karmic situation uh, is coming to an end. It's coming to a close. They realize their feelings now. They know what their feelings are. They're going to take action. 
they're going to go towards their truth. But it's going to come after a time of waiting, after a time of resting. So it's not going to be, be, be quick because underneath of that we have the uh, seven of wands. This is like they're going to, they're understanding who they're fighting for, what they're fighting for, what's worth fighting for. And it's not this. It's this, this, this here. It's this Queen of Pentacles. Because underneath that we have the King of Pentacles. Now we have a match. Now we have a match. They're disconnecting because they've been stalking you online. They've been watching you on social media. And they need to stop doing that because it's causing them pain and grief. But we have a match now here to the Queen of Pentacles. The King and Queen of Pentacles. This is how they see you. This is what they feel for you. You are their other half. You are their match. You two go together. But this is going to come, as like I said, after a time of waiting and setting new foundations. But they're going to fight for this. No longer in this energy. They're going to fight for their, their king or their queen. Okay, let's see what else is there. What else do we have? What else do they want you to know about how they feel about you? We have here destiny. So they realize that some things are destined. They realize that you and them are destined, perhaps. They're realizing that it's time for them to walk away. Walk away from people, places, and things. Walk away from this third party situation. The other person, whoever it is, they've learned the lessons now, and it's time for them to walk away and walk back onto the destined path, walk back towards the destiny. This has to be this has to do with ancestral karma, perhaps. They they this third party, uh this three of swords, um was so that they could clear some ancestral karma, so that they could clear <clears throat> excuse me, bloodlines. Sorry, my cat wants to leave now. Bro, come here. Come here. Shh, shh. Um we also have here remorse. They have regret about how things played out in the past. The pictures that are replaying in their head, they have remorse when it comes to the way that perhaps they talked to you, the way they treated you, uh, the things they said to you. But they're trying to find the confidence. They're trying to find the confidence to unshackle themselves, from unshackle themselves from this three of um, swords, from this karmic partner, from this third party person, from the things that keep them bound and shackled. Bottom of the deck here, we have awareness. And I kept seeing this awareness card as I was shuffling, but it wanted to come up, but it never came out. But now it's here at the bottom. They are aware of you and this connection and their feelings for you. Like I said, they're wanting to bring this message of love. Their feelings are so, they're so aware of their feelings now. They're so aware of, of, of who you are to them. One second. Okay, let's see what these... Um, this this destiny is about what is this destiny about what is this destiny about it's about the ten of pentacles it's it's about that commitment that happy home that coming together building something for generations to come they know that they're destined to build something with you, to have this with you. I also have here um, King of Wands and the Magician. This is about utilizing all the tools at your disposal to manifest and create this. Destiny is what you make of it. Destiny is, you, you have a choice when it comes to destiny. Fate is different. Fate, something that's fated, it's, it's, it's fixed, it's not movable, you can't mold it, you can't change it, but you can change your destiny. So it's up to you and your person to use all the tools in your at your disposal to manifest and create with the universe to co-create with the universe overcoming any obstacles that come your way there will be obstacles on your road you will have bumps but it's all about overcoming them learning from them and overcoming them 
having the strength and the knowledge to know that sometimes you need to go within to seek your answers, to find those answers. Go within and trust your guidance, your own inner guidance. You don't need to go outside of yourself. You can go within yourself and create and manifest and have the strength and focus to know that you hold everything you need and want in the grasp of your hands. Bottom of the deck here, we have the Ten of Wands. So this is all about another cycle ending here. This is about putting down those burdens, putting down those stresses that you've been carrying on this path, on this journey, that do not serve you, that are not for you anymore. Walking away. We have the Page of Pentacles and the Chariot. The Chariot also showed up in the pre-shuffle a few times. So this is about moving forward. Walking away from the people, places, and the things that do not serve you and moving forward with clarity, with focus, with direction. Bringing about an offer, a message in the material world. An opportunity, a desire. Walking away from those things that kept you from that and walking towards uh, the things that uh, will bring you that. It's your wishes, Walk, walking towards your wishes. Nine of Cups here, wish fulfillment. Self-fulfillment. Ancestry. Tell me about ancestry. We have here the Empress. So this is divine feminine energy here. So this is about perhaps your person clearing any um, ancestral karma that has to do with the divine feminine energy of their bloodline. It has been a long time coming. It's been a slow and steady process, but it's one that's solid, one that's stable, one that's going to uh, be successful. And then we have the Page of Cups again here. This is so that they can come back around and bring a message of love towards the Divine Feminine. So what I'm getting from this is this. Divine Masculines are learning through ancestral karma to embrace the divine, their Divine Femininity. The divine, the divine feminine selves, their emotions. The divine feminine energy is very emotion. It's it's about your emotions. It's kindness. It's love. There's that delicate type of thing. Loving yourself, whereas the divine masculine energy is more action, more hands on, more. Um, some people would say abrupt, uh, but not as you know loving as inviting as the divine feminine energy is. They had to learn to love themselves in order for you to, in order for them to bring a message of love, a cup of love to their divine feminines. They're learning to love themselves, the divine feminine side of themselves, so they can love the divine feminine, their own divine feminine, you watching this, um, the way that they should. And this is why this is taking time because it's going to be solid. It's going to be something that is in the material world. It's stable. It's solid. It's something that um, really is part of a long learning lesson that has been handed down for generations. They on the last leg of this, they're, they're, they're really clearing that ancestral karma where there perhaps has been a lot of toxic masculinity in the past. And what's bottom of the deck here? Divine masculine. So this completely all ties together. It's all about that divine masculine energy and divine feminine energy balancing out. There has been an, a very um, unbalanced energy for them before in their ancestral line. They might have all of them, women, men, divine feminines, divine masculines, been operating off more in their divine masculine energy because that is what they did. That is what they were taught. That is what they were um, conditioned for generations. But they're breaking that now and they're bringing back the balance by bringing in the divine feminine energies again within themselves. Remorse. What is this remorse? These are way too many. Remorse. And I, yes, I did see the lovers come out there in that pile, in that stack that just fell out. 
and we'll see if it comes out again but there's remorse when it comes to this connection remorse when it comes to the lovers involved here we have the high priestess here again so there's remorse when it comes to not listening to their intuition at the time not listening and for me the high priestess is again another divine feminine energy they had the chance but they didn't because they were conditioned to be more in the divine masculine side and they didn't listen to the intuition and they didn't listen to the niggling feeling they had when it came to you but back then which means now that they're sitting there replaying those pictures and having remorse we have the king of cups here i feel they're they're regretful because they weren't emotionally mature then because they didn't listen to their intuition because they weren't balanced but now they're they're in a place where they're in balance they come they in control they are emotionally mature they may not show that to you they might still have a very good poker face and don't reveal their emotions but they are now emotionally mature but what they do is they they do have remorse that they they didn't they weren't at the time and they didn't follow the intuition we have the world here things are coming to completion things are coming full circle there's going to be self-fulfillment there's going to be uh, a close a closing of one cycle and a beginning of a new one which we've had a, f a few times now in this reading and we have the page of swords here so again they have been viewing you on social media but the page of sword is also bringing about a message about ideas about curiosity this is someone who's witty someone who's young and witty basically and <laughs> yes and there it is there's the lovers this is a that remorse they have when it comes to to the lovers to you the two of you your connection and how things transpired between the two of you they they have recognition and, and, and they know who, who you are to them. They know that this is a divine love, but they just have remorse. They didn't um, show up in this connection the way they should have, the way this connection deserves. Confidence. Tell me about confidence. Tell me about confidence. Well, Divine Masculine. The Divine Masculine is finding their confidence. Their confidence because they have clarity now. They have truth. They want a new beginning. So they're, they're building up their confidence. They're stepping into the Divine Masculine selves. And they are um, really starting to, to cut any bullshit out. They have clarity. They have truth. They're going to have a new beginning. That is what they're striving for, a new beginning. Bottom of the deck here, we have the Queen of Cups. So now we have another pair. So I've had the Queen and King of Pentacles, right? Was that what we had in the beginning? Yeah, King and Queen of Pentacles. We have had the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine. Now we have the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. So the Queen of Cups is is this, this psychic, this intuitive, this compassionate, thoughtful, queen sorry i was interrupted um well this queen of cups she's intuitive she's psychic she's she's um compassionate so we have all these indications here that these that you guys have been going through these cycles before you've been the king and king king and queen of of pentacles king and queen of cups so you've learned about the material world you've learned about your emotions you're both now mirroring each other as well you are flowing in your emotions they're flowing in their emotions shackled let's have a look here at shackled shackled okay those are too many but i'll take these ones here so shackled we have the two of cups so wanting to exchange cups with you, wanting to be at a point where you have filled up your cup, they have filled up their cup, it's now overflowing, you're exchanging cups. they rather be shackled to this than shackled to that third party. Shackled to a some kind of commitment, some kind of thing that is not for the highest and greatest good, um, something that might have been causing them harm they're wounded but they're standing there they're fighting why why are they fighting for that it's time for healing it's time for them to 
to unshackle themselves, unshackle themselves from this third party or whatever they're shackled to. So they can now tie, tie, uh, bind themselves to you, exchange cups with you, have that commitment with you. They don't want to be wounded. They don't want to hold on to things that keep them shackled and bound, if that makes sense. Bottom of the deck here, we have the Ace of Cups. So they're learning to love themselves, absolutely. They're filling up their cups so they can offer you that cup. It's overflowing. You're doing the same. You guys are mirroring each other. There's healing taking place. There's going to be some a new kind of commitment. One that doesn't keep you in bondage. One that doesn't keep you shackled. Where you both are free within the connection. So, yeah, that is that. So, guys, let's do some The Universe Has Your Back answers. So, ask yourself, ask the universe a yes or no question. I'm going to get you some answers. We're going to do one, two, and three. And four, actually, let's do four this time. Let's do one, two, three, and four. So you just uh, ask your question, a yes or no question. We're going to see what the universe has to say. Let's see what the universe has to say to you. I'm going to do it differently this time. I'm not going to get bumpers. I'm just going to cut the deck and then pull. Because often you see the answer before. I've noticed. I should have noticed that before earlier than I did but now I know so let's cut the deck so this is one this is two this is three this is four so just see whichever one you resonate with and then I'm going to start turning over now Pause if you need to. So number one, your answer is, it's no for a reason. So this is a no and it's for your highest and greatest good. You might not see that right now. You, know, might, you might not feel like it, but this is the universe trying to help you out. It's no for a reason. Number two, you are a co-creator with the universe. So... The universe is saying here that it's whatever, if the answer is yes or no, it's up to you. Because you are the co you are co-creator with the universe. So if you want this, you can make it happen. If you don't want this, you can make that happen too. Number three. Is this what you want? So this is like the universe, universe saying, be careful what you wish for. If this is really what you want, that is what you're going to get. And if it's not what you want, that's also what you're going to get because this is what you're wishing for. So you need to be careful what you wish for before you truly call it into existence from the universe. Number four. Uh, it is not for you. <clears throat> Excuse me. So this is a no from the universe saying this is not for you. Right now, this is not for you. Maybe come back another time and ask. But right now, you know, this is not for you. It is not for your highest and greatest good right now. So that is what I have for you today. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm so sorry I lied. That was not the end. I forgot. I had some messages from your person as well. So sorry. So these are some messages from your, your person. Something they want you to know today about how they feel about you. Jeez Louise. We have her take me as I am or leave me as you found me. They're feeling a little bit insecure here. They're feeling a little bit like, you know what, if you don't like me, then you can just leave me. You know, having a little bit of a tantrum. But this is because I didn't follow my heart. They're feeling like, uh, I feel what they're saying here is that they're really not happy with the turns of events. It's like the things that happened uh led them to where they are right now right now they're like you know what i don't have to change for anyone i can be who i am i, I don't have to i can just be myself when they truly truly know that they need to transform they need to be the authentic selves because they didn't follow their heart they didn't follow their heart and now here they are i guess i really don't give much away they thought that they were transparent with you they thought that they were open as, a, as open as a book you know but you know what I got a taste of my own medicine. It didn't taste nice. 
So they were put in the same situation, perhaps, in this third party. One of the lessons they were meant to learn, perhaps, was to have what they did to you done to them. Because that has changed everything for them. Because now I'm ready to fight for you. I know what it is I want. I know what it is I'm fighting for. And I'm ready to fight for you now. Bottom of the deck we have here. I still feel your energy and I love you. So you might have thought that they disconnected from you. But they never really did. They're still connected. They connected to you. And they connected to this connection. And that energy that you guys share. Is still surrounding them. So that is your full reading. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, share if you feel so inclined. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye.